there, uh, Dimitri from Total Physical Therapy, total-pt.com. Last time we talked about neural tension in the arm as it related to the median nerve, which is a generalized stretch of the nerve of the arm. This time we're going to spe specify two different nerves, the other two, which is the radial nerve and the ulnar nerve. The radial nerve works on numbness or pins and needles that occur in the index finger and the thumb and half of the middle finger, the, uh, I guess this side of the middle finger, uh, as well as any type of symptoms in the forearm on the thumb side. The ulnar nerve is basically the funny bone effect. So anytime you have a funny bone feeling in the, in the pinky and the ring finger and the inside of the, or the outside of the middle finger, that's the ulnar nerve. We're going to talk about that second. So for the radial nerve, the same exact stacking principles as the last video. And what I mean by stacking is you want to create tension on the brachial plexus, which is the bundle of nerves that comes out of the neck and into the arm. And you want to stack the movements so you, so you increase tension proximally to distal until you have the symptoms being generated, which would be a pulling effect, uh, pins and needles, numbness, or obviously pain. So the stacking principle you're, we're talking about for the radial nerve, which is now for the thumb, would be scapular depression, shoulder depression, elbow extension. Now here the difference is you put your thumb inside, you don't have to squeeze, just put your thumb in and you're going to twist out. So that means so you shoulder depress, elbow extension. Now here the thumb would act, the wrist would actually twist away. You would flex the wrist. So that's the difference right there. For the median nerve, you would just open the palms, open the fingers, bring the palm back and reach away. So the difference for the radial nerve is thumb in, you close, shoulder, elbow, now you flex the wrist, twist away and then you reach out and away. And when I do that, I feel a lot of tension and tugging right over here by the thumb side of the forearm up into the elbow. Um, very different than when I do the median nerve, last video, where when I do this, I, I feel a much greater generalized pull here. For the radial nerve, which is the thumb and the twist, it's more on the inside of the forearm, thumb side. Okay, so that's, that's the change. So you twist, flex and turn away with the thumb in. Very important to make sure that you keep the shoulder down. For the ulnar nerve, you're making glasses. So if you've ever been a kid and you've done this little move, okay, it's the same exact thing. Believe it or not, this actually tackles the ulnar nerve, which is obviously from the inside of the elbow into these two fingers. So the movement here is the same, but what you do is, get a little closer here, you take your pinky and you tuck it underneath the chin and you create this little move here and you try to kind of, and I'm a little limited there, but you try to create a little half a glass. And that tension that's placed on the pinky and the forearm will activate that stretch. So almost everyone, if they do it the right way, will definitely get some funny bone tension in that region. Um, and that's the stretch. So each of those movements would be 10 repetitions, pressure on, pressure off. You never hold a nerve stretch. Nerves are very sensitive and you don't want to irritate them because then you will have a lot of discomfort. So you don't want to do that. You want to stretch the nerve in an oscillatory fashion. So you want to do pressure on, pressure off. As long as, as, long as that takes you to say that slowly, that's the move. So pressure on, pressure off, making sure you depress that shoulder. For the radial nerve, thumb, palm, in, depress, elbow extension, flex the wrist, twist away, pressure on, pressure off. So that's for the radial nerve and the ulnar nerve. All right, try that out. We'll see you next time.